This is ADT 1160U, Digital Communication Technologies. The title of this particular video clip is Four Scenarios of Digital Communication. The analysis questions for this particular video clip are as follows. What options does Harry have in terms of choosing digital communication technologies? What are the two variables that play in our decision to choose technologies? What are the characteristics of each of the four scenarios presented? You will remember the case of Harry, who owns a plumbing company and feels pressure to get some kind of online presence for his business. Jack, his son-in-law, who has an internet business, offered to help him, but Harry feels a bit lost. He always uses his mobile phone to contact his customers and to coordinate his employees. He is a bit afraid that he won't have control over what people write on social media. He can't really see himself verifying everything people write. He can't see himself sitting in front of a computer talking to his customers all day. He also doesn't know what technology to choose. Should he tweet? Should he open a Facebook page? Should he blog? Should he create YouTube videos? He wonders which of these technologies to adopt because he heard people talk about them. He consults with Jack to get his opinion. Rather than suggesting a specific technology, Jack explains to Harry that there are several options, depending on what kind of outcome he wants. Essentially, what Harry would do is not only advertise his business, he would let his business grow from the interactions with his customers and potential customers. This also involves getting the best of employees through online interactions and allowing his business to be a learning system. Web 2.0 tools such as blogs, forums, wikis, and media sharing websites present a wide array of affordances that enable users to connect through several channels in a variety of places such as same place, different place, and times such as synchronous and asynchronous. This provides opportunities for various types of interactions that go above and beyond online socializing. To this matter, there are four learning scenarios that are possible with a combination of the aforementioned constructs. Same place, synchronous, that is our first scenario. In this scenario, people are in the same room and they work in collaboration using chat as they share resources or as they work in a shared document using various interfaces, such as computers, tablets, or mobile devices. This requires good collaboration and technical skills. Second, different place and synchronous. People are in different locations and they work in real time on accomplishing a task or solving a problem using chat, audio or video conferencing, and collaborating on shared documents. This requires that people each take the responsibility to be there on time, the technical skills to access the interface and to log in, and to be actively participating in the activity. Third, same place asynchronous. People who work in the same environment enter online at different times and are able to consult documents that are produced by other people with whom they work but are not able to be there present at the same time. This requires a good organization of the content and respecting other people's work. Fourth scenario, different place asynchronous. People log in into various online interfaces from various locations as and they contribute comments or they produce documents that others will be able to consult or contribute to at different times. This requires that people are motivated about their learning or their work and that they are technically competent to operate the required technologies autonomously. With these four scenarios, Harry starts to understand that he has to make business design decisions. He is a bit concerned about the reputation of his business, but he understands that there is a way to distribute the work to be done online. His employees could take part of the responsibility. They might need training and he might have to redefine some job descriptions, but this would not be a big problem as he heard that he could get some government funding for small businesses that need to train employees for the high tech. Also, he realizes that his employees could start working more collaboratively if he makes the right decisions. Those who do the day shift and those who do the night shift could have access to the same base of knowledge 
rather than work in silos, like plumbers have traditionally done. The synthesis questions for this video clip are as follows. Why do you think Jack presented these scenarios to Harry? What scenario do you think Harry should focus on? Where should Harry start? What steps should he take?